Hey Gemini's, hey baddies, welcome to my channel. This is Baddie Gem Sarah. I'm gonna do a video for you guys and we're gonna see what y'all need to know for the month of November 2023. That's crazy. It's a new month. Like these months is flying. That is so crazy. But yeah, we're gonna see what's coming towards you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And my readings are resonating with you guys. What does Gemini's need to know, Sarah, for the month of November 2023? We got to connect with ancestors. I feel like um, Spirit wants you to connect with them. You got to connect with your ancestors. I feel like light candles and things like that. We got aromatherapy. What else? It's like, it's giving an energy where like, Spirit wants you to tap in. Y'all need to tap in. Some of you guys need to feed your ancestors too. Some of you guys probably recently did. What else? What else for Gemini? What should Gemini focus on for the month of November 2023? We got to take a walk. So Spirit wants you to go outside more. And then we got abundance planning. I picked up this energy before. Y'all need to organize your money. Organize your bills. We got sweet treat. I feel like some of you guys are going to be treating yourselves to something. We got connect with crystals. Yeah, yeah, some of you guys need to connect with your crystals. And then we got clear your energy for y'all need to sage your homes. What else? Someone needs to charge their crystals. And it's funny because didn't I say earlier um, that some of you guys need to light candles up? I don't know if you guys could see, but it's candles. There's one, two. Yeah, there's only two candles. So some of you guys need to light some candles up in your homes. That's what I'm picking up. Some of you guys need to cleanse your tarot decks. I don't know who this resonates with. For my people that do tarot. We got rest. So Spirit wants you to rest for the month of November. Y'all gonna be getting a lot of rest. It's giving like smooth energy. And then we got deep breathing. Yeah, it's giving smooth energy. Yeah, but there's an energy, like, it's a heavy, heavy energy where y'all need to do energy work. Something with connecting with your ancestors, like, tapping in. Like, Spirit wants you to tap in. That's the energy I'm picking up. <coughs> y'all need to tap in. But yeah, let's see. Month of November 2023. What's coming to the Gemini spirit? We got peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. We got fear. It says expecting the worst, afraid of failure, wasting time on negative thoughts. So a lot of you guys are thinking very negative. Y'all gonna get out of that energy though with the peace card. We got embrace. It says find peace. Uh, sorry guys it says find peace with your current state of being so yeah i feel like y'all gonna get out of this energy for my people that's stressing out some of you guys can be stressing out over money your kids some of you guys kids are stressing you out work anything a relationship i feel like y'all gonna let go of that and yeah y'all gonna let go of well spirit is wanting you to let go of um negative thoughts like you're wasting your time on negative thoughts and then we gotta be open to change yeah so there's some change there's some growth coming towards you what else spirit? one more card for gemini month for november 2023 We got sacrifice. It says giving up something now for a future reward. Yeah, so y'all need to give something up. It's like y'all blocking y'all blessings. That's the energy I'm picking up. And some of you guys are in denial about something. 
Y'all need to accept something for what it is. It says failure to accept the situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. Yeah. Y'all going through something that's putting y'all in your head and y'all in the mind about the situation. But that's what I'm picking up. What's coming for is Gemini. Coming for the month of November 2023. This coming towards Gemini's for the month of November 2023. We got the chariot. Are y'all going somewhere? Is somebody traveling? I mean, this is the month of Thanksgiving, so some of you guys could be traveling to go see family or some shit like that. We got the two of swords. I feel like there's a decision that y'all gonna have to make. A decision that y'all been like, oh, uh, damn, I don't know how to explain it. You know how, like, you keep leaving something for later? It's like, a, it's something like that. Like, Spirit finally wants you to make a decision when it comes to something. I don't know what it is. It could be with a um family situation. It's giving the energy, like, it's giving, should I stay or should I go? Because you see, the cherry is moving forward, so it's giving, like, and then this is, like, a family picture. So it's giving, like, should I stay or should I go? Should I move forward? So some of you guys could be in your head about, you know, a situation. It could be a love situation, a job. I don't know. But it's given, like, should I stay or should I go? That's what it's given. Okay, what else, baby, for Gemini? What's coming towards Gemini, baby, for the month of November 2023? We got the Queen of Cups. I feel like some I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be in positive energy. Like y'all gonna be happy. Y'all gonna be like very emotional. Yeah. There's an energy where someone's kid is gonna do, yeah. Look, page of cups. I wish I could make it up. The page of cups could talk about a child. There's an energy where someone's kid is gonna do something nice for them and they're gonna end up crying. Oh, so cute. Or someone is gonna do something nice for their parents. Take a hard resume. Or nice. Something nice for someone, period. I feel like someone's going to be crying. We got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I see you guys trying to find balance and shit for the month of November. Mm -hmm. I see some of you guys getting, like, another job or some shit. Or some of you guys are wanting another job. Y'all want a second job. I see the offer here with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like y'all bag won't be looking good. There's an energy where spirit wants you to balance, like, out your money and shit like that. Like, remember the first deck? It says something about abundance planning. Like, I see you guys doing shit like that for the month of November. And I feel like everything is going to work out fine with this Queen of Pentacles. Y'all going to be good. Y'all going to be chilling. It's like, it's giving, like, y'all not going to be um, worried about money too much. But, yeah, I, see, I definitely see a job offer coming towards you. And I feel like with this Knight of Cups, you're going to like the job. Yeah. I'm picking up an energy with negotiating money. I don't know. But yeah, Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, so I see you guys um connecting with somebody for the month of November. There's a mutual respect, mutual attraction. That's the energy I'm picking up. It's definitely romance. I'm not picking up friend energy. Some of you guys are going to like, really be connected with somebody. You got the three of pentacles. This could be somebody that you work with for some of you guys. Doesn't have to be. Or this is just you working something out with someone. It could be someone new, someone you already know. For some of you guys, it could be a new person. You got the empress here. This person going to view you as the empress. There's an energy where I feel like a lot of you guys are pregnant. Empress with the page. Yeah, a lot of you guys are pregnant. Queen of cups. Yeah. Someone could be pregnant with twins. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like someone is pregnant or someone's going to be finding out they're pregnant. Yeah. I feel like if you're pregnant, you're going to have a smooth month for November. Like, you're going to be good. No stressing or nothing. But I really see a, a whole connection here. This is so, like, I don't know. It's giving, like, beautiful energy. Two of Cups, the lovers. That's, like, beautiful energy. Knight of Cups. I see you guys connecting with somebody, like, on a deep level. 
We got the um five of wands with the three of swords. I feel like there's someone that's feeling the type of way about an ending with you. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like... Or it could be an Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's an energy where they're heartbroken, but they're acting like they're not. This is someone that you ended things with. It's either you ended things with this person or this person ended things with you. I feel like someone feels the type of way and someone is all in their feelings. That's the energy I'm picking up. What else, Spirit, for Gemini? November 2023. What's coming towards them? Yeah, someone definitely feels the type of way. But it's giving like they not going to show that though. Because some of you guys, yeah, because the King of Cups, I feel like the King of Cups is someone very emotional. I feel like they'll tell their feelings. But I don't know. The way this is laid out right here, King of Cups next to the King of Wands, it's like they ain't any feelings, but they fronting. Like that's the energy I'm picking up. We got the Six of Swords. I see you guys moving forward. And think something. That could be with this person that we were just talking about. Seven of Swords, Yeah. Someone could have snaked you in some sort of way. We got the Five of Cups, yeah. But someone is, like, all in their feelings. It could be you and this person at the same time. I feel like this person let you down. This, put, this person disappointed you. Yeah, it's the energy where someone was crying. Someone was really hurt. That's the energy I'm picking up. Yeah, a lot of you guys were contemplating about the whole situation. But I feel like some of you guys are, like, y'all got the closure y'all needed and y'all ready to move on. That's what I'm picking up. That message is not going to resonate with everybody. What else for um Gemini Spirit? It's coming to a Gemini for the month of November 2023. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's like, it's giving, like, an energy where um someone betrayed you, but they keep hitting you up, like. I don't know, but I'm I'm seeing two scenarios. There's an energy where y'all was hurt, y'all felt betrayed, y'all felt like y'all could never move on. Like, y'all probably felt like y'all life was crumbling down or some shit like that. But I feel like, yeah, y'all gonna move on with the eight of wands. Yeah, I see sudden changes coming towards you guys. For the month of November. Yeah, y'all healing with the star card. Y'all healing. Very positive energy. I feel like Spirit wants you to be positive too. They want you to think positive. Because there's an energy where someone could be stressing. I feel like a lot of you guys are stressing. What else for Gemini Spirit? We got the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, good karma, good change. We got the Ten of Pentacles. I see you guys um getting some like some type of unexpected money. Yeah. It could be like some good luck or some shit. Like you know how like I don't know if you guys play the the what's the shit called? The lottery, the scratch offs. I don't know. Some of you guys do that. Someone gonna be getting some unexpected money. Someone gonna be getting some money um from a lawsuit that was owed to them. I don't know, some type of money, something positive. It could be something with a family, but I see some type, some some type of stability for you, like some type of money, like things changing. It could be something like hard work paying off, something that you was working on. What else, forever? Month of November for Gemini. You got the higher font. With the Knight of Wands. I see you guys taking action on something. Some of you guys could be going back to school. Or some of you guys are in school already. But there's an energy where like y'all been um. Damn I don't know how to say it. Like y'all been on some shit like damn. Should I go back to school? Should I do this? Like I don't know what to do. I feel like you guys are going to take action when it comes to something. Yeah. What else? What else, spirit? Some of you guys are thinking about changing your schools. I don't know. It's something with taking action. Yeah, some of you guys are confused about something. 
Yeah, some type of indecision. Yeah, I don't know. What else, spirit? What else is coming towards Gemini for the month of November 2023? What else is coming towards Gemini? We got the Six of Cups with the Four of Wands. I see you guys reconciling with somebody. It could be a friend or some shit. I don't know. Or remember I said this month is Thanksgiving. So I see you guys like reconciling with people that y'all haven't seen in a while. Yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up. I see I see a lot of people having a good time. It don't even have to be just on Thanksgiving. Like, because you know, there's a lot of people that don't have families. There's a lot of people that don't fuck with their families. I just see you guys reconciling with somebody. And I feel like it's positive energy. I see a conversation here. Yeah. What else? Or someone that you ain't speak to in mad long is going to be like um, randomly calling you. And I feel like you're going to have a long conversation. It could be a friend, a lover, anybody. Yeah, this could have been someone that's like, I feel like something ended. The devil. This could have been someone that, that did some funny shit to you. Five of Swords. They could have caused conflict. They probably had a bad argument. But I see you guys, you know, balancing something out here. This is like a reconciliation. Six of Cups talk about a reconciliation. Temperance could talk about balancing something out. Peace. Bringing peace to a situation. It's given like somebody doesn't want to fight no more. We got the high priestess with the ace of pentacles. I feel like spirit is going to be giving you a blessing. Ooh. Someone won't get a blessing. A lot of you guys won't get a blessing for the month of November. Are y'all going to start seeing y'all blessings? But as I say in all my other videos, the high, if you've been watching me, the high priestess could, be, could talk about something that hasn't been revealed yet. So you see how the hand is handing the coin. Like, I feel like there's something coming towards you that you... This this is basically something that you're not going to see coming. That's the energy I'm picking up. Yeah, something with stability. Something with some type of manifestation. I feel like whatever y'all manifested, um, spirit heard it and spirit is working on it. That's the energy I'm picking up. King of Pentacles. Yeah, something with some money. Mm-hmm. The world card could talk about some type of success also. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys want to start seeing some blessings. Some of you guys want to be completing something. Y'all going to be, you know, in this three of cups energy. That's what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to be celebrating something. Something that y'all worked on. Some type of blessing. I don't know. I always pick up this energy. Others of you guys, you're going to just be getting some type of money, some type of unexpected money. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. Bye.